It's time to watch some Undead Unluck. This is episode 18 of the show. And, uh, well, last week was crazy. Uh, week before that was crazy. We've had some crazy stuff happening. I feel like this episode is going to be a bit more chill. I'm not saying there's not going to be any stakes. I'm not saying there's not going to be any fighting. I'm saying I think we have to go do stuff. So it's not going to be as action-packed. Like, I think now we're going on... Not a side quest, but the in-between quests between the big battles, if you know what I mean. That's what it feels like we're gonna is gonna happen. But this show has been kind of unpredictable. Like, I didn't think we'd be going directly into a pretty big arc like this when the quest thing was being given. Like, we were in the middle of giving quests when shit started to go down, you know? So, I'm curious. Let's jump into the episode and see what happens. Make sure to support the video and the channel if you can. Uh, liking the video, commenting down below, subscribing to the channel, that stuff helps me out a lot. And go to my Patreon account, which is in the description below, if you want the full-length versions of these reactions. You just sync it up with your own footage and you, uh, and you get a lot of extra content, so go check it out. Anyway, let's jump into this episode 18 of Undead Unluck. <laughs> Damn, they have no table to gather around. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they just cut from that to the OP. Um, a lot. Good. Glad to know we made a right call. Oh. It's cute how he's like holding her clothes. Yeah. Well, I think it's smart. It, or it could be smart, I guess. Yeah, it's probably a bit too late to start doing that sort of tactic. Hmm. What are we implying about injustice here? I hope injustice is on our side because I love her so much. We're going through a lot of recap, but I feel like it's building to something, so I'm okay with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah, okay. So there's something going on, but I don't think he's... So, uh, she, I don't think she's working with him, at least. Tell us everything. Uh-huh. Oh! 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 That makes sense! I think? Hold on, this is a loop story? Ooh. It might not be like traditional loop rules, but we'll see. Mm. Give us more details. Oh. Right, that makes sense. They were from a previous loop. This is she's playing like a roguelite game. <laughs> this is really cool. This reminds me of the game. I can't remember what it's called right now. I'll look for it later. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're getting some answers. Really interesting answers. Mm. This is crazy. <laughs> I didn't see this coming, but I like it, and it makes a lot of sense, I think. 
And I, I really like loop stories when they're done well. Uh, maybe you should start with how it starts. That's a cool visual, but damn. Hmm. <laughs> oh, shit! That's crazy! <laughs> That's such a weird little detail to add, but I really like that. Hmm. That's true. I mean, I believe you. <laughs> well, he's naked all the time. So, who knows? <laughs> he doesn't even know, though. そう、ことしては弱いだろう。これで信じてもらえるか。お。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Uh -huh. Oh? Yeah, Victor. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> so he survives because he can't die. Wow. <laughs> This is crazy, this series. Oh, This is so cool. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. You're too badass and amazing. I love you. Stay here with us. I'll, I'll follow you forever. <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh, cool. Is this our new table? <laughs> it's pretty sick. <laughs> This is so sweet and fun. Cool. Another 360 shot. It makes my eyes feel weird when I, they can't focus on the person. I don't need recap of this bit. Mm-hmm. God, we got even more quests because we got to deal with Billy now. It's so annoying. That's true. That's also true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of a book? Not apocalypse, I imagine. Okay. What book? Tell us the book. Yeah, you guys are like the best ones. <laughs> Your clutch. Huh? Is it... Wait. What is it? Is it the manga or something? Okay, alright. Hold on. I'm going back to the first episode to see if they have, like, a... If I can see, like, the back of what the manga she reads is. Because if... If we can see... I'm pretty sure we would be able to see the back of that manga in the... In the shot somewhere. And if we do... 
then this is going to be this is going to be crazy. Hold on, I'm skipping to the <gasps> Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, all right. Well, it's hard to see. She th this isn't the back of the of the manga. We only see the spine here. Um I wonder I wonder if it shows the back at any other point in other any other shot. So I think that's what she is talking about though, like maybe, is it's like the manga of um, that she w she was reading at the start and that's why we're getting Fuku to do it because, uh, you know, she is the, a person who has read the manga and was obsessed with it. But um, man, this is crazy. I've just got the episode playing in front of me right now. Oh, uh, okay, here's a shot. I think it's like... It's got like a blue back with the double barcode. I think it is the manga. The thing is, I was looking for like a flower. There's a flower on the that we saw when Unjustice is holding it up. But um, unfortunately, it seems like it's not super easy to see. But um, yeah, anyway. Uh, the, oh, ah, I found it. There we go. There's the flower on it. It is the manga. Okay, cool, cool. All right, well, I've got that confirmed. So now I can discuss it properly. So, from memory, wasn't that manga, it was like about two lovers who were like surviving in an apocalypse type world, right? I think? Um, it's been a while since I saw the first episode. In fact, like watching that, those clips, like seeing how long Fuku's hair is, is very strange to me. <laughs> it's, I am not used to her looking like that. <coughs> um, but, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't quite remember like the full details of it but i wonder what you know the dealio is what what so the manga is like the author had written down like an actual this was actually like a telling of the of the world and the manga somehow survived or something i don't know like what is it <laughs> or is it like the guy who wrote the manga or girl or whoever wrote whoever wrote the manga um like touched an artifact and so they got visions of this world and they wrote a story based on it or something. I don't know, but it's crazy. I can't, we'll find out next episode, I imagine, but it's insane. This episode was, this is a very conflicting episode because um, I think it was a great episode, like a really, really, really good episode that was also like a recap episode in a way, weird way. Like it was kind of, the unfortunate thing was like, it, it really did recap a lot like it was i think i feel like it was over 50 percent of the episode and if it wasn't it felt like it was um like i think if you took the time of new footage and old footage i think it's over half old footage i think um which is uh kind of sad because <laughs> i wish this show would have a little bit faster pace because the actual show the actual story the, the when they do are moving forward it's like fucking crazy thing after crazy thing happening all the time. Things I'm not expecting around every corner. I will say, however, for the most part on this episode, the recap actually worked well. I Genuinely, I do think that. I think, like, the recap only really... Uh, like, I only really didn't like after the reveal of the loops and stuff. Before the reveal of the loop... I think the recap served actually quite well because it was it was a building of um, clues. It was the show showing us like here here's one thing that happened and here's another thing that happened and here's another thing that happened and it was tying them all together and making you think about them in a new light. I actually did enjoy that quite a lot because there's a lot of stuff that's happening in this show so I do think it does need to do that sometimes and I appreciated that. I actually liked that a lot when it was building up because then it did actually make the the reveal feel more earned, you know? So I liked that. Um, it was just after that when they were like recapping the quest and showing the entire scene of recapping the quest and stuff like that, where it's like, yeah, I saw this like two episodes ago. <laughs> like, I, I, in fact, I think they probably also recapped it last episode. Like we've seen that scene so many times now. I don't need to see it again. Um, but yeah, so this story is a loop a loop story which is awesome um so there's this game and i'm gonna look at what the game's called um chrono arc that's what it's called i have it on steam it's a game in early access i think it's a chinese game or something um and so i like, i reckon recommend if you like loop 
stories. Um, this this game does have a pretty good one. Um, I I admittedly I'm not like super invested in the story. Like I sort of I got the game not because of the story. I got the game because I wanted to play that sort of gameplay. Um, it's a it's a roguelike deck builder game, right? And um, and I wanted a roguelike game. I love deck builder games. I saw this pop up on my um, on my Steam at some point, and so I bought it and um, and played it for how long did I play it for? Twenty three hours. Um, and uh, and I didn't like finish it or anything. Um, well, I did. I finished some runs of it, but it's like a roguelike game where you can finish runs, but that you still haven't unlocked everything. Um, that I didn't, I hadn't gotten through the story. The story progresses when you beat a run, the story goes forward a little bit more, right? Um, and in that game, it is about like a time loop, a world that's stuck in a time loop. And, um, and it, it was a pretty interesting story. It's had a cool vibe to it. It's got cool art. The gameplay is pretty fun. Um, it's like at times kind of frustrating, but it does have some pretty satisfying moments and stuff. So I recommend Chrono Arc. And if you like time, time loop stories like this, like Undead Unlock seems like it is, um, then it, it is uh, pretty cool. But the thing is like, it seems like Undead Unlock, it's not exactly a time loop. Like, we're not going back in time, but we're starting the Earth over from scratch. So, it's like, time is still technically progressing, but I guess what is time if you get, if you destroy everything and get rid of all the rules of the universe or whatever? So, I don't know. It's, it's tricky. Um, but regardless, really cool concept. This show, it has some cool concepts constantly. Um... So yeah, God just builds up the world, um, waits until it's at a certain point, destroys it once the penalties have been too much, and then rebuilds a new world. My favorite thing, I think, is the small little, like, it's, it's weird. Like, I don't know why this reveal is so shocking to me, but I really like it just because it, it, like, ties something in that I didn't know needed tying in. But the fact that the meteorites that she's been using all this time are meteorites from a destroy from destroyed Earths in the past is so cool. <laughs> like, it's a, it's a small little detail. I would ne not have questioned this show if for the rest of the show we went by and they never explained why there's so many meteorites hanging out around Earth. I... I never would have questioned it. Never. Not in a million years. But the fact that they explain it anyway and give it like a really cool explanation that ties into the show and is kind of like a hint. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, I I like I'm just I'm just kind of blown away by this episode. <laughs> I think it was really, really great. Um, but I mean other than those, you know, those few things that we found out. Um, not much happened in the episode, so there's not much else to discuss, but I, I at least am happy that we like came across such a crazy story like this is so cool <laughs> this rider is so creative it's insane so um thank you for joining me for undead unlock episode 18 make sure to support the video if you can liking commenting and subscribing and go to my patreon account in the description below for full length early access and exclusive videos i'll see you next time goodbye